Our DFT code ADF is a popular tool to simulate, predict and understand magnetic, electric, optical and vibrational spectra ranging from NMR to X-ray. In today's video I want to showcase the calculation of core ionization energies. So the energy required to remove a core electron from the system. Experimentally these are probed via X-ray photo emission spectroscopy or XPS in short. For this demo we shall be using a thiophene molecule for which we have experimental XPS peaks that we want to assign to absorption sites. We begin by importing a pre-optimized thiophene molecule into AMS input. As usual you can find a step-by-step -step explanation and all the materials in the video description. For the calculation we tick the unrestricted checkbox and choose the BP86 functional with the triple zeta basis set and a small frozen core. From this treatment we exclude one of the two symmetrically non-equivalent carbon atoms for which we request a larger all-electron basis. For this we have to label the carbon atom by assigning it to region. After the region has been assigned, go to the numerical quality panel found under details and specify a TZ2P basis with no frozen core. After the calculation is finished, I note the bonding energy in the output file before opening AMS input again. Now I can just remove the lowest beta electron. I know that this orbital is located in the carbon atom because it is the only atom that has an all electron basis set in this calculation. After the calculation is finished, I again note the bonding energy. The core ionization energy is now simply the difference between these two bonding energies. After I've repeated the calculation for the other symmetrically non-equivalent carbon atom, I can compare the core ionization energies with the experiment, which allows me to assign the two peaks to the two carbon atoms. That's it for today, I hope you found this useful and as always we are happy to answer any questions or comments below this video.